It was supposed to be a fun field trip to the Capitol for kids at God's Little Tykes Child Care and Preschool. But around 1025 Wednesday morning, the trip took a turn for the worse for a three-year-old girl named Carol. A pedestrian saw Carol alone and crying inside one of the daycare vans. The woman then opened the unlocked van door. Before she called us, she got the child out of the car. Carol was then taken to a local hospital. She got there, she was exhausted, a little sweaty and stuff like that. She was released within a few hours. The daycare vans were parked right here on Capitol Drive, and it's believed that Carol was left unattended for about 10 minutes. I talked with Capitol Police Chief Todd Hurt, and he said this story could have had a much worse ending. Well, it kind of comes with this time of the year, you know, cars heat up a lot faster during hot days. Um, luckily, the two things that were good about this, one, it was in the morning, so it hadn't heated up a whole lot as it could have like this afternoon today. Um, the second thing, the pedestrian, you know, noticed something, she saw something amiss, and she called us. Hurt also said this was an accident. The owner of the daycare was very cooperative, very apologetic, you know, had felt terrible about the incident, and as anybody would. It's totally understandable. Marcus Sage is the pastor at Fountain of Life Worship Center. They've had the daycare for more than eight years, and he says nothing like this has ever happened before. Obviously, this was a horrible incident that we never wish would have happened, and uh, we've taken lots and lots of field trips everywhere, and we have a system in place that we check every child that goes on and every child that goes off, and have never before had an incident like this. We hate that this happened wish it would not have happened, and are going to do our very best to, of course, never let this happen again. I know stuff happens all the time, but today I was so close to losing my little girl. Jonathan says he will be forever grateful for the person who may have saved his daughter's life. Mostly what I want to do is I want to thank her who found my little girl in that car, because that could have went four different ways, you know, and I could have lost her. In Jefferson City, Elizabeth Hoffman, KRCG 13.